hello and welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna go ahead and hop right into this look i'm gonna start off with moisturizing and priming my face and i use the keelan cosmetics rose oil to moisturize my face i apply it all over my face and then i'm gonna go ahead and use the laura mercier primer in the blemishless one and as you see i use my i guess you would call it like primer brush to blend all it in all over my face after applying that evenly to my face i'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and the foundation that i use is by lancome this foundation is like a medium to full coverage so it's like really buildable this probably is one of my favorite foundations that i use uh, for myself personally um next to 15 50 is probably my top favorite but i'm completely out of my fenty so lancome it is then i'm hop right to it and apply my concealer so i still apply my concealer pretty old school like i guess you can say um so i apply it completely under the eye and bring it down to the cupid bow um and but i do angle it to give it that like no surgery facelift I guess what you say and then I apply the lighter concealer under my eyes but then I take a concealer that's maybe like a shade of shade and a half darker to the concealer under my eye and I apply it to my forehead the bridge of my nose and my chin and then after applying my concealer I like to apply my contour and of course I apply it around like the temple um, my forehead and underneath my chin area and then i like to bring it up to the sides of my mouth because i think it gives me more of like a defined look for like snatching my face and then i apply it to the bridge of my uh to the sides of my nose not the bridge excuse me to the sides of my nose and i bring it up to my brows now before i blend i always apply like setting spray because i think it just like helps like really set it into my skin it could be a fit for me but i just like it better that way and then i just like, go ahead and blend my concealer out with a beauty blender now if i don't have a beauty blender i for sure use a brush um, but if I have a beauty blender, then I'm for sure using a beauty blender first. I take a brush and blend out my contour. And when I blend out my contour, I blend it outward for like the hairline. And then for the cheekbones, I blend it upward towards the eye to like blend better. Because I feel like if you drag it down, it like drags your face down too. And we want to make sure that we don't want to drag our face down, right? Once I've blended all of that out, I take the brush that I use to apply my foundation. I use it to try to like blend out any harsh lines. And I just like love it because I feel like it's not overdoing it and it it like just blends it perfectly that way so i like that now i head over to my powders and now i start to like set underneath my contour to just define my cheekbones and i use a darker contour on this part underneath my cheekbones as a what i do for my under eye and as you see like i press the powder into like that underneath the cheekbone just so i can set it because i need it to last all day
And once I finish with that powder, I go in with the lighter powder here, which this one is going to be Fenty. And I start at the upper lip because I have laugh lines and I be, I be tired of it. I'll be over it. So I just be wanted it to like not crease through the day. And then I move up to my eye and then I blend outward. I don't come inwards when I set my powder under my eye. I just feel like it just sets better when I blend outward. And I do a light powder first. And then I go and then I bake it and then like line out the nose for my contouring. Like it's just that routine for me. Whatever powder is left over, I take that and I blend out on my brow. So when it's time to do my brows, like it's just like super sharp and the pencil is like gliding on smoothly. But yeah. And then of course I like do my forehead. I do the bridge of my nose and then like a little tip of my nose to just like really give me that really snatched look because we want a nice snatched nose. Now I'm going to go ahead and move into the shadow. So I used my Norvina palette for this look. And I go in with the A4 brown, I believe it is. I go in like a neutral brown color, like something to make it like really deep. I go in with a orange red looking color to kind of like warm the eye and I just put that like right in the crease so the brown on the lid and the orange red in the crease Afterwards, I'll go ahead with the Norvina eyeliner palette. It has like orange, white, and pink to it. And I use my flat angle brush to create that like wing liner look, like the outline wing liner look. I'm not really sure what you call it. No lie, I had to do one eye over off camera because this liner was really trying to get the best of me, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like how thick it was, but I wasn't trying to do it all over again, so I just rolled with the punches. Using that same palette, I used the pink glitter um, shadow that's in it and I just pop it right into the corner of my eyes. Off camera, I did take that same brow that brown that I used on the lid and I smudged it under the eye just to kind of close up my eye. Before, I used to do my brows before I did anything. But now I really fell in love with doing my brows after I do all my like creams and powders because I noticed that I would have to go over my brows again because they would end up fading and it would be so annoying. But I use the Morphe brow pencil for my brows. Now I'm gonna go with my flat brush to just give it a light conceal underneath the eye now I don't fell in love with applying my 
lash glue to my lash line because I just think it's so much easier. It just sticks right away. While that dries, I'm gonna just speed it up really quick and just dust away all of that setting powder from my face and press it in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my contour powder so it can, and my bronzer so it can warm my face. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes because the glue should be dry by the end. I think these were two different lashes. Okay, like, I just kept staring at them. I don't know if one got applied differently than the other, but I for real believe it was two different lashes. But listen, I was gonna make it work because I just had to make it work from there. Then I'll go ahead and apply me some blush. And I'll be going heavy on blush, so don't judge me, but I just love me some blush. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and drown myself in some setting spray. And then I like to take that same brush that I use for my foundation and press that setting spray into my skin. And then I'm gonna go in with a Sephora brand lip liner. Don't worry, I'm gonna put all of this in the, in the um, description box because I can't tell y'all right off my head what everything is. But I'm gonna go ahead and take that liner and I'm gonna blend it in. And now after blending that liner in really well with a lip brush, I'm gonna go ahead with this NARS lipstick. It's like a cute pink nude. And then I'm gonna go in and blend it out really good because afterwards I'm gonna go on top with this like really pink um, lip gloss that I got from Dose of Colors to like highlight the inner part of my lip because I'm like really starting to love that look and it's super cute. I'm gonna let it blend it out and boom, bam. <laughs> There she is. Yes. Okay, QT. This is the finishing look. Make them holla for a dollar. <laughs> and if you like this look, just make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments. You know, let me know what you think, how a girl did. But this look is so cute. I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all back soon. Peace.